Hey everyone, how are all you guys doing today? I hope you are all well. Guest hosting for you people today is Arcane1122. And wow, what an opportunity this is for me. I gotta give a big thank you to Alex. I mean, when I first started my channel, if you were to tell me I would be appearing on a channel nearly hitting over 2,000 subscribers, I would probably tell you to shut the front door. Seriously, man. I don't think I'd be getting any views, never mind guest hosting. But yet, here I am, and it's such an honor not only to be appearing here, but to be selected to be amongst all the other guest hosts we've had so far. It's a real privilege to be doing this, and I can't thank Alex anymore. Well, at this moment in time, I probably divided you guys into two groups. One being, hey, this is Arcane. Going to be another awesome session of Deathmatch. And the other, who exactly is this dude? I've never heard of him before. <laughs> well, wonder no more, as I will give you a brief history as to how I joined the Assassin's Creed multiplayer and got into the community. So, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was introduced to me by my two brothers. They they said this game is awesome, you've got to check it out. So I give it a go, and it was actually the multiplayer. So I started on the multiplayer, I mean, to this date I haven't actually played the story mode. <laughs> I haven't a clue as to what is going on in the story mode. I am strictly multiplayer when it comes to this game. And I, yeah, as I said, I started on um, Brotherhood. Um, when I first played, like all games when you first play them, you hate it because I didn't have a clue as to what was going on. I mean, I get, I mean, I stuck with it though, which was quite shocking because I give up easily me, but I stuck to this multiplayer and I just continued to play it. And I slowly started developing my skills, um, but by the time I actually developed my skills and I got quite good at the game, because I couldn't really play that much with all the other stuff going on. Uh, it came to the end of um, Brotherhood. It came to the end and it was time for Assassin's Creed Revelations. I did join a Fragnation Road to Revelations tournament which was a, a wanted bro a multiplayer a Brotherhood one, sorry. And I totally got my backside kicked in there. Seriously. I mean, to be honest, I only joined to play some of the awesome players that were taking part. Because I really, I really love playing against the best people. I mean, that's the, that is a really good way to get better at the game. And that was a good opportunity. But wow, did I lose. But yeah, after that, it, I think Brotherhood came to an end and it was time for Revelations. Which was totally a different game compared to Brotherhood. I mean, and I, th I think that's what t that's what um, attracted me to Deathmatch when it came to Revelation because it was probably one of the main modes where you could continue to play slow and stealthy. The reverse detection meter worked well there. So yeah, I mean, I played Revelations like crazy. Seriously, I was playing for hours on end. I mean, I did take it easy when I actually saw a headline in the newspaper where this guy died from playing video games, which is true. <laughs> I mean, he was playing 10 to 12 hours a day, which what I was doing as well. And he actually died from a blood clot in his leg from sitting in one place, which was quite serious, really. It's not funny. I mean, so that freaked me out a little bit. So what I actually decided to do was continue to play these same hours but do regular star jumps in the middle of my living room you know keep that blood circulation go glowing going sorry not glowing <laughs> but yeah so I played re and that's the played revelations and that's where I probably got known in the community was through revelations and because what happened was I'd, I would start to get really nice messages from randoms in who are playing against me like you are really good and you should like, can you explain how you are this good and that's what actually gave me the idea to start posting on YouTube so I got myself a dazzle and once I started to post on YouTube I think that's where I become that's where I become more well known really in the Assassin's Creed community and YouTube really give me that chance I did join a clan in 
roughly around about the same time, I did start posting on YouTube, and um, I joined the Reckoners. The Reckoners is a awesome clan, and if there's any of you free agents out there looking for a clan, I would advise you checking out the Reckoners. This is such an awesome clan to be part of. We have lots of plum fun playing so many different games, so please check that out. Um, that really, I, I joined the clan um, again to just meet some really good p people and play some more competitive. I mean, I love playing competitive games. I mean, I do like playing in random lobbies, but at the time of ACR, I was just finding it a bit boring because I was just noticing I was just winning a lot, and I really wanted it toughing, toughening up. So, the reckoners get really give me that chance to do that. So yeah, that is a brief history on me of how I joined the community. So I think I will get into the last four minutes of this game. And that was an awesome poison by me because I just reacted there. After I actually poisoned, I was like, how did I actually even know that? Oh, I mean, this was a game that just went seriously well for me. I mean, everything was just right. I mean, if you guys can remember at the start of the video where the Lady Maverick killed me, which was a big mistake from my part, I knifed a mile away. Um, you just, if you keep that into lock, you're going to realize how how that is going to haunt me in my Assassin's Creed <laughs> future days. Because one of my main goals when playing Deathmatch was to try to get a flawless victory. It is really hard. It is, that's one thing I've been challenging myself to do. Never done it. And th this was the closest I ever got. If you have noticed, I haven't died yet, which I didn't realize till I actually um <laughs> saw the scores at the end. I was like, "Whoa, one death, really!" And then I remembered that Maverick killing me, which was well, like, like, "No," because it was a mistake from my part, to be honest with you. Yes, as you will notice, these guys are noobs. I mean, to me, there's two different kind of noobs. I mean, there's the ones that kind of know what they're doing, so the they're taking it easy trying to figure out what to do, but your experience on the game can overpower them, so you can pull out massive scores. And then you've got the noobs who just run around like idiots, who sometimes, who, like, who sometimes know what they're doing, and then sometimes they don't know what they're doing. So they're totally unexpected. So against, again, kind of noobs, it is hard to pull high scores off. I think these were them type of noobs, but the game went seriously well for me. As you're going to see here, I get a poison off, hidden poison. He stuns me. And I get a nice hidden poison there. And I'm going to get, get a contract right near me straight away. So I'm going to get another hidden kill from the same spot. <laughs> Which, I mean, the streaks and kills I get in this game are just amazing. The funny thing is, though... I don't think I score greater variety and extreme variety in this game. Which would have boosted my score seriously. But I was just, because I realized I was doing well, I was just continuously trying to go for them silent hidden kills. And I wasn't really going for my um, bonuses. Which was not good. <laughs> As you can see, I get contested. So waiting for my target here. Which I think it's going to be the Silent Shadow. After he saves me, I do waste my knives here trying to get a stun in. But the Silent Shadow does save me and I will repay him by stabbing him in the back. Which is not very nice, but it's got to be done. And then just someone just knives me for nothing. Which is hilarious. I love people who just rage at you using their abilities. I'm just like, what is the point? And I get the silent shadow again, and he has no clue because I got, he, I think he spawned right near me, giving me another focus hidden kill there. As you can see, this just goes so well. And we have got 30 seconds into the game. What I'd like to do is just say thank you again for this opportunity to Alex. Thank you to you guys for taking the time out to watch me. I hope my commentary was pretty well. <laughs> and I think that is it from me. Until you hear from me again, please stay safe and take care, and I shall see you later. Goodbye.
contract lost. You have finished first.